There you have it, Team Efficiency still playing as the blue side, uh, starting to the north, and the Immortals, yes, once again, uh, the, uh, I, 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 this is a do-or-die situation, I remind you, there's the yellow team starting to the south. And on the Efficiency side, very heavy front line, triple T32 on the Force 16 and in the uh, 13. Whereas the Immortals going with a more balanced lineup to do with two M50s, a T32, Pershing, and an Amy 13. So honestly, I am actually favoring the Immortal lineup more because of just his versatility, because they are be kind of be able to just, you know, I guess, uh, kind of have more angles and just more kind of options going to the set. Whereas, yeah, I mean, the efficiency side, because they have three T32s, I mean, First of all, that's not that's like a heavy commitment to that front line, and then uh, it's going to be, I think, a lot harder for them to kind of reposition and just kind of. Move that. Well, early on, we can see the models going for the west road, actually. Uh, whereas efficiency is much more spread out evenly. They've got uh, they've got uh, two heavy tanks. And well, the T32 is squatting like uh, right west of uh, the the village that cuts the railroad in half. And uh, they've got a medium tank, uh, so that's the object for 16 to the West Road, with a 1390 there as well. So uh, they've got the street line very well covered. Oh, Heinz Linderman does get the announcement so first, oh, but exactly. Yeah, just uh, once again. Shot here as well, Mega Jolt taking a shot. So, we're gonna see probably just this, uh, this kind of pokey work one is gonna happen. Serious as well. Efficiency way. has to be very careful because the 50s uh, are on the Westbrook when it comes to uh, the models. I mean, I, I'm not sure 200%, but that's where they were moving towards uh, when they first started the set. Dejuice uh, is going to run into them, there you go. He just, just ran into them the best. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I've blew out the Savage is right next to him. Yeah, so they've got to try land some shots here. Hades is going to get lined up, but none landing still. Oh, Hades finally takes a yeah, small shot yeah. there. And actually, both T1s on the efficiency side have fallen. Uh, the, uh, the second Gumi T1. taking another hit, like, but see, that's the thing, the spread right now from efficiency is better. Yeah, yeah it is better. It's actually better, so, uh, yeah, no small wonder that both Hades and Gumi took a hit here. The 50s are just right behind them, so there's no angle to the sights. Yeah, well, basically, like, because of this, the great like, gun depression on that T32, it's just allowing them to have you know, that, like, they're, they're, be they're able to land these shots compared to, like, you know, the AM50s, so, um, Right now, I mean, it's more the positioning of the 50s that bothers me at the moment because you know they're beyond the West Road. Uh, like both Savage and Neverbest are beyond the West Road and they're actually, useless at the moment. Yeah, I didn't. Well, I, I didn't get full vision on both of them. I, I know like one of them is like right behind that T32, but uh, well, there you go. They're repositioning as we speak okay, right now. Um, okay. See, they were like all the way to the west, and hence they were useless. Not that much. Whereas right now, well, as you can see for yourself, oh, the series is in yeah, a lot of danger. Efficiency though. is much more spread out, and the series he's gonna, will, he's gonna go he's down. Gonna go yes, down. Yes. He's gonna go down. Yeah, one more shot will take care of him. Have seen him and there you go. Yeah, there he goes. So very well done. Very, very big advantage. I mean, see, once again, it's just uh, the models were too clustered, uh, yeah. not spreading out enough. And uh, although they did land some damage, ultimately they can't retaliate properly because they don't have the angles. Yeah, the thing is, they just played. I, I think they were just a little bit too hesitant here, a little bit too scared, maybe. Well, exactly. Facing match point, indeed, I mean, facing indeed. elimination. And but uh, when you yeah. play like that with a handbrake on, on Pokorovka, you're not forgiven straight up because, like, whoever's got the most angles and firing opportunities and the better spread always wins. Yeah. Here. I do completely agree with Unless that. you go for just sort of a trap and a bait where the 50s are just going to come out of nowhere and unleash the loader, which we have seen the Immortals do from time to time. Unless you go for something drastic like that, if you're just going to just play passive and stay regrouped, you get punished, ultimately. Yeah, I mean, the Immortals should know that by now here, yeah, but well, I mean, they, they are taking way, way, way loads of damage right now. And yeah, they're going for the push, but it's not going to be enough here. It's too late. Yeah. It's too late. They They're might get Sly Fox, up. actually. If they get Sly Fox, okay, they do get Sly Fox. And actually, maybe even Mega Joel here. Uh, they do have many angles at this point. And because of, I guess, yeah, but they, uh, they, 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 they still, Kumi. even if they take out Mega yeah, Joel, it's yeah, still yeah, going to yeah, be a yeah. trade. Actually, and look at all the damage best, that yeah. Neverbest has to take just to get close. Yeah, yeah Mega Joel going to go down here. There you go. This is going to be an efficiency win. Yep, I think so too. Quite easily, actually. 
Yep. Very easily. Very well done, Mike. Well, I mean, they completely deserve it because they had the better spread. Once again. So, uh, well, I guess it's going to be uh, team efficiency of versus. Leaving <laughs> super friends. It's going to be an interesting. Uh, it's actually. I can't, I can't believe this, but this is actually the exact same kind of uh, end to the season we had last season. Well, in terms of the uh, the, the seeding of the previous playoff, yep, Because yes, what is. happened was, yeah, uh, Insidious Gaming were waiting the finals, yep. and then, yeah, it was Efficiency versus PB Super Beep. Friends in the semis, I know. and it's going to be the exact same thing. So even, I mean, we could have, uh, you know, another PP versus Insidious Gaming final, but I kind of also want to see the Efficiency versus Insidious Gaming, uh, but I, I still think that the PP versus Insidious Gaming one will be way more kind of a... Uh, uh,